Everyone loves to splurge when it comes to eating. We realize that when we eat too much refined and processed carbs, this can eventually lead to insulin resistance, as well as prediabetes and diabetes. But hold on. Everyone loves their pasta. You may not be eating it every day, but you can eat it more often and still be able to lose weight as well as to feel more satiated. So I'd like to review a simple study. And this is a PubMed study that I will post in the description below. And the title of this study is Method of Food Preparation Influences Blood Glucose Response to a High Carbohydrate Meal, a Randomized Crossover Trial. And this study was given to three different groups where all of them were eating the same kind of pasta with a tomato sauce and basil, where one group ate the pasta directly after it was cooked. The other group ate the pasta after it was cooled for 24 hours, where they ate it cool or cold. And the last group ate it after 24 hours when it was cooled, but they reheated it. And the study was about showing that reheating pasta causes changes in postprandial glucose response with a quicker return to fasting levels in both the reheated and the cooled conditions than the hot condition. And in the process of cooling down this pasta over 24 hours, causes the starch in the pasta to undergo retrogradation. That's a process by which the glucose molecules and starch reassociate with each other in an irregular fashion post-gelatinization. Now what's important about resistant starch is that when it gets into the small intestine from our stomach, it doesn't digest, and it makes its way to the colon, right where the main microbiome is of our body. And those probiotics will look at this resistant starch kind of like a soluble fiber, or what we call a prebiotic. And the purpose of that resistant starch, or that prebiotic, is to feed those probiotics, to make the probiotic, the microbiome, flourish. So the bottom line is that you are boosting your overall gut health and all diseases in our body stem initially from our gut. So as we increase that good bacteria, we're decreasing levels of constipation, we're lowering levels of bad cholesterol, we're reducing that bloating, we're allowing the gastrointestinal system to function at its maximum potential. And what's beautiful about this resistant starch is that it makes you more insulin sensitive. So that means we're reversing insulin resistance. We are altering and correcting metabolic syndrome. We are preventing excessive insulin from being secreted into our system, into our blood, insulin, insulinemia, that potentially can lead to excessive fat stores, as well as excessive inflammation to the rest of our body. So in the lower intestinal tract, these resistant starches are going through microbial fermentation and it's producing short chain fatty acids, primarily butyrate. And butyrate has a direct effect on those colonocytes, which are those cells throughout our colon. And that works as a major anti-inflammatory and that can prevent colon cancer. And that butyrate also makes its way to the bloodstream and works as an anti-inflammatory throughout the entire body as well as all the organs throughout. And there are other sources of resistant starch, like our oats, our rice, uh, our potatoes, raw potatoes, as well as our green bananas, as well as our lentils, beans. But when it comes to pasta, which everybody loves, I want you to know that you can still lose weight eating your pasta because if you cool it down 24 hours or even if you reheat it thereafter, you're going to get a bunch of resistant starch in that pasta. So when it gets into your intestines, particularly the small intestine where the absorption occurs, it's not going to get digested. It's going to get digested in the colon where the uh, good bacteria is going to eat it up. And as a result of that good, good bacteria, you're going to get these natural anti-inflammatories that's going to go throughout your body to keep it more healthier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.